Hey Yoshima goons, hey Yoshima fans, it's another time on the screen with me and today I'll be giving you some juicy juicy lessons about romance and sex. So you want to find out about that? Definitely keep watching the video. So, the thing is romance includes emotions while sex is just an action that is the number one difference i'll be giving about three differences and i hope that you're jotting things down in as much as romance sometimes could be a waste of time to some people romance comes with outpour of several kinds of emotions when you're with a particular partner and you're having romantic moments being romantic could not necessarily be that um, we're having a penetration no we're not talking about penetration we're talking about those little things that get to your skull and takes you to cloud 10 not cloud 9 now it could be that you're having a candlelight dinner then before you know it you're holding hands from holding hands you're getting closer to each other then there's just like a kiss on the forehead then from that it builds and you see that slow motion of so much kisses you see the slow motion of wanting to tear your partner's clothes even when you don't think about having a penetration you see that thing can be so emotional that even when you see them in movies you're like wow you get aroused that is what romance does so romance has so many emotions in it but sex is just the action the penetration and you know you have to let's try different styles let's try to get the climax let's try to come you see all those things are like special special kinds of feelings that you have to have in bed so this is the difference of number one having an emotional time with your partner which is you having lots of romance and you just performing the action don't get me wrong these two things have to be an equilibrium by that that is an economic word for being equal another thing is romance is a very sensitive way of letting your partner know how much you love them this is a little bit underrated because people don't get that once you have romantic moments with your partner this partner already knows what this girl can do for me it is not until eh, it is not until somebody say i can fly the ocean for you you don't have to fly the ocean you don't have to jump a bullet for somebody but having this romantic moments proves a lot to your partner that wow this girl really loves me see romance tells a lot if you're somebody who goes into so much romance and you know that foreplay is a key holder in any relationship before you have the sex then you're on the right path you see things differently when it comes to having sexual moments some people would definitely tell you that having sex right can never be a waste of my time i must have sex and do it right romance will make you realize that see eh? you can never waste your time when it comes to having sex now this goes beyond just sex talking about romance making you know how much you love your partner sex is just like a wild way so you're doing you're taking your time to embrace what your partner wants what your partner likes and you guys are having a swell time sex is you having it wild so you can imagine from slow you're going from ta 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 to ta 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 you can imagine so there has to be a balance romance is super important in a relationship on the bed in the bedroom these are two important things because romance is a sensitive way of letting your partner know how much you love them meanwhile sex is the other world action and performance in as much as i know that orgasm is one very important thing one should have in the bedroom especially when you want to have sex with somebody and you know that orgasm is that climax point whereby both the male and the female they are at that very point they're like wow i had a swell time orgasm sometimes could be weird it doesn't mean that it has to take so much time for you to get to climax get things get these things right one thing is orgasm can come in different forms you see some people they have one night stands some people are doing the quickies and they're having so much fun by doing that they're telling you i have the best time of my life now for people who enjoy those moments check it out they have had romantic times with themselves orgasm comes from you wanting to satisfy this person so here is how you should work in a bedroom you should always start from the four plays and those four plays and everything you do fall under the romance 
then afterwards you now build up to the fact that you go wild by penetrating doing other stuff changing the positions using every nooks and crannies in the room now the thing is like i said before everything being in an equilibrium it is just like you plotting the graph and one is like this another one is like this you're on the wrong part bro one is like this and it's balanced and you can see 50 50 is life no cheating don't cheat your partner don't cheat yourself anything that will make you engage in any bedroom activity with anybody and you do not balance it my dear you just wasted your time and I'm so sorry to announce to you know this. It's just the truth. So at the end of it, I really do hope that with this few differences I've given you, you should be able to understand that romance is actually super important in any relationship, as well as sex is. So even if romance and sex negate each other, they are not the same thing. And it just boils down to you having a great time in the bedroom. But the thing is, do it right. Doing it right will make you feel alright. <laughs> so at this point, I have come to the end of this video. I hope you love this content and if you do proof that by clicking on the like button and if you're just viewing this video or any of my videos for the first time stay with me and let's have a swell time so i'll bring you more exciting content and i'll see you on my next video